Welcome to class. I'm glad you could make it. Um, I'll be your tutor today. And I think that you were interested in uh, building your vocabulary. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Well, what I've done is I have created a, um, a list of vocabulary words that we can go over that will help you um, build your word power and help you in your speaking to be very um, precise in what you're talking about. And there are words that people um, know, but they don't necessarily use a whole lot, um, which is kind of a shame because they're really good words. Um, most of these words will describe something, and um, either a person or a situation or something like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is talk about the word, and then I'll show it to you, and then we'll um, I'll use it in a sentence. Okay. The first word describes someone who is cynical, suspicious, um, someone who doesn't like people very much at all, probably pretty bitter, um, pretty nasty person to be around. And that person you would call a misanthrope, okay? A misanthrope is someone who does not like people very much at all. Um, an example sentence would be, he could not keep a job because he was a misanthrope. He hated the customers, his fellow employees, and his boss. Okay? Misanthrope. Now, this next word describes something or someone that has the highest level of skill or artistry. A professional, or something that is complete and total. And that word is consummate. Consummate. You talk about someone who is consummate. They are very, very good at their job. An example sentence would be, the fact that she closed the business deal after that horrible meeting shows that she was a consummate professional. Or, no one could stand to be around him because he was a consummate bore. And that was, in that sentence, it means complete and total bore. He was horrible. This next word means something or someone that is beyond redemption or reform, or something that is impossible to eliminate or get rid of. And that is incorrigible. Something that is incorrigible, or someone that is incorrigible, is someone who is pretty much beyond all hope. An example sentence would be, after the tenth chicken was killed, he had to admit that the dog's behavior was incorrigible. This next word is, someone who has very firmly fixed opinions that cannot change. Someone who gets an idea in their head, and that's it. It won't change. That person is inveterate. Inveterate. Which can be a good thing, or it can be a bad thing. Um, when it came to her home team, she met every loss with inveterate optimism. So she had made up her mind, and it wasn't going to be changed. This next word, this next word means 
something that is particularly bad, usually to the point of harm. Something that is beyond just like inconvenient, but is pretty seriously wrong. That word is egregious. What made her crime particularly egregious was that she took money from her own children. So, this is a very powerful word about something that is not just bad, but very bad. Any questions? Okay, good. And um, I'll leave this list with you, and you can go over it and um, work on it in your spare time. This next word means to reduce in esteem or discredit, to speak little of. And that is disparage. To disparage something is to kind of talk down about it. Not really come out and completely criticize it, but just kind of say, mm, it was okay. Disparage. When he felt threatened by another actor, he would start to disparage their work and stop talking to them. Now this word means to praise adoringly, to idolize to an excessive degree. If you do that, you adulate. To really, really love something and talk about it a lot and praise something highly. She was so proud of her husband's new job, she would adulate his work to her friends for weeks afterward. Adulate. This word is something that means evidence that forces a decision or to have undeniable influence or weight. Something that's pretty unstoppable or pretty obvious. And that word is militate. There are several things that militate against our economic recovery something that has an undeniable influence. Militate. It's a good word, but you don't often hear it. Now, this next word is something that um, anyone who's gone through any kind of political process um, is very familiar with. Um, it means something that is misleading or of an uncertain nature, or something that is capable of two interpretations. And that is the word equivocal. Equivocal. Um, anyone who's heard a politician speak probably knows exactly what this word means. When talking about his past life, he always stayed equivocal in what he said staying away from specifics. So something that is really hard to actually pin down what is being talked about. Yeah. And these next few words have a lot to do with how people talk and what they say and what they mean or how much they talk. This next word is someone, describes someone who doesn't talk at all. Um, very, very hard to get them to say anything. Habitually untalkative is the official definition. And that person is taciturn. Taciturn. Although he was normally quite taciturn in class, when he wrote term papers, they were always longer than his classmates. Taciturn. Not saying a whole lot at all. Now this next word is similar 
to taciturn. Um, someone who expresses things in few words, but those few words carry a great deal of meaning. So someone who doesn't say a lot, but when they do speak, it's powerful. That person is laconic. She opened the envelope with shaking hands and read her laconic message. Just one word. Never. Very powerful, but very brief. Laconic. Now, this word describes someone who talks a lot, but doesn't necessarily say a whole lot. Someone who is always speaking is garrulous. Garrulous. After 10 minutes with such a garrulous host, you realize that you hadn't said a word the whole time. Garrulous. Now this word describes someone who speaks in a very forceful, convincing manner, compelling. Someone who, when you listen to them, you're immediately drawn into what they say, and they're very convincing. That person is cogent. While the other side had the publicity, his cogent argument for his client left no doubt of his innocence. Cogent. There's some politicians who can be cogent as well. And that's refreshing. This word means someone who speaks very passionately, or loud, or angrily, or an outcry of protest. Someone who you cannot ignore because of the emotion in their speech. And that is vociferous. The leader of the mob was passionate and vociferous in his speech to the crowd. They were soon marching on the Capitol. Vociferous. Great word to say. This next word is also about speaking. This is someone who speaks a lot, but unlike someone who is garrulous, this person has meaning behind their words, and they can speak very, very well. That person is loquacious. Loquacious. When speaking of a friend, he was always very loquacious, never stingy with his praise. I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, we've gone over a good list of words. I hope you're able to use them and practice them. I will leave these with you and for you to go over. And when you come back, we can review them and we'll add some new words to them. So I hope this has been enjoyable and I will see you again soon. Thank you.